Hey, what's up, Vinyl Community and YouTube land? It is Kendall Stokes coming at you with another video for the Spin Doctor and his Vinyl Mayhem. It's November 1st, and I thought I would make a video today about the experience I had at Lunchbox Records yesterday. Now, I know everyone's been making their videos about this right here. Yes, the Revolver box set. Everyone's been making the same video, unboxing, talking about everything, and I'm going to do a little bit of that, but the main thing I wanted to talk about is how I came to get this. So, as most everyone knows, this runs about $200. I think you can get it on YouTube, or on Amazon right now for $191.96 before tax. Uh, most retailers are selling it for $199.98 or something like that. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, that's it's about average everywhere. And, you know, I, uh, I was planning on getting this eventually, but I was not going to spend that kind of money uh, until probably closer to Christmas time. Uh, you know, last year I got the Let It Be box set for Christmas, and I got it for probably around $120. Uh, it was my Christmas present that my wife got me. But... I saw an opportunity at Lunchbox Records yesterday when I went there uh, that I just couldn't pass up. Um, yeah, it's needless to say, it was probably the best opportunity or best, uh, um, oh, I don't know, uh, deal of my final buying uh, career that, that I've ever had so far. Um, so yesterday I went to record or to Lunchbox Records to pick up an online order that I made um, s Saturday night, um, which I'll show those records in another video. But I went there to pick up an online order, and I was looking around, and I saw that they had this box set, and I looked at it really hard, and I saw the price on it. And I went, "What? That doesn't look right." So I thought maybe it was the uh, four. The, the the CD box set but it said 4LP because it had the shrink and everything on it and then I picked it up and uh, I did this and everything fell out of it this is you know um, I went all oh, crap and I was talking with the lady behind the counter and she said oh yeah this was a return somebody returned it um, and I was like really she said yeah um, the 45 uh, had glue on it and the person returned it I went really and they said yeah the the 45 ha has a pop on it I went really so they had it marked down like 25 percent so you know roughly 150 to 160 bucks I went really wow okay so I thought about that and as I left with my order I went man that's a really great price so I thought about all the records that I had that I was going to sell anyway I had a pretty good sized stack and I went you know what I'm never gonna find this record for that great of a price I better I better head back to Lunchbox with uh, with my records because I was thinking to myself you know this this has that pop on it but I'm not buying this box set for this I'm buying it for for all the other stuff you know I'm buying it for for this and I'm buying it for this and I'm buying it for this you know I mean that's the stuff I really really want so I go I take you know I, I come back home and I get all my my records that I was gonna sell anyway and I take it to the store and I know I'm not gonna get top dollar for it but I figure I could probably knock out a good chunk of that price that they already have on it and so I'm, I'm talking to the, the, the two people behind the counter while she's looking at my records and everything. And, you know, I'm, <clears throat> I already grabbed the box set and I put it on the counter because, you know, depending on what kind of dent they make is going to determine whether or not I leave home with this thing. So she's, you know, looking at everything and she, I see her writing stuff down. And so she tells me how much and I went, okay, yeah, sure, perfect. And so I spend, you know, only a quarter 
of what this box set is going for and I walk home with it so while everyone else spent you know spending about 200 bucks for this I'm spending a quarter of that on this now to me that's a heck of a deal now I know you know everyone's saying well but you had to sell off a bunch of records okay but here's the thing I was gonna sell off those records anyway right so in a way I'm t to me I mean I'm still making good I think I mean first off the fact that they had this thing marked down to what they had it marked down to and by the way today I listened to the the 45 and guess what there was no pop it played perfectly so I walked away with a perfect revolver box set there was nothing wrong with it, it played perfectly there's not a single thing wrong with this entire box set so I pretty much walked away with a with a mint box set so I uh, whoever turned in this box set because it had glue on the 45 which by the way uh, apparently lunchbox cleaned it when when they got it because there's no glue on it now um, thank you very much for not wanting it because it had a little bit of glue on it you know I don't know if people realize this sometimes when you buy new records the records are dirty all you have to do is clean them and they will play fine most of the time don't get me wrong sometimes they're defects in brand new records but for the most part they if you clean it it they'll play fine so anyway I walked away from lunchbox with a brand new revolver box set for a quarter of the price uh, I consider myself very lucky because while I was watching all those videos of people doing their their uh, unboxings and their reviews of you know of this I was thinking man I'm gonna have to wait months before I finally can you know get mine but apparently I only had to wait a couple days because I've now listened to it I listened to the new stereo remix which I think sounds great I know people have said you know I mean there, there's a bunch of different people doing reviews out there and some people are saying oh it's not that great and some people are saying oh it's great and you know I mean everyone's got their own opinions and you know real quick to, to people that are listening to those just remember that anybody's reviews of any records they're only opinions you know somebody may say that <clears throat> a version of this record is the best version there is that's their opinion you may have a different version and it's the only one that you have and that's perfect for you because it's the only one that you have and the only one that you can afford just remember that what you have may be all that you can afford and have and that's good enough for you not everyone can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on records I am on a budget which is why I was able to get this for the price that I did I would never have been able to get this you know on you know for a regular price but because somebody was crazy enough to return their copy I was able to get it at a huge discount and also trade in records so you know <clears throat> you have to go out there and you have to look for deals you have to you know settle for what you have you know but before I got this the only copy of revolver I had was a you know capital original that most people say oh the capital originals of Beatles records sound terrible guess what that's all that I can base my Beatles records on for the most part I mean yeah I have that original UK pressing of uh, Sergeant Peppers I was lucky to get that but for the most part it's capital recordings again I, I can't go out and spend hundreds of dollars like some people can it's just the way it is but anyway that's beside the point I'm going off on a little tangent there um, but real quick though back to this box set so far I'm loving it the mono sounds amazing very excited to have that one of the reasons why I wanted this box set was to get the mono um, and then also to get the uh, to get this of course um, I 
I really think this is a cool uh, list, or not list, but uh, cool, um, whoops, did not realize that was not in there. A cool um, list or group of alternate takes. Um, you know, really like the Yellow Submarine. Uh, you know, I don't think any of us knew that John uh, was singing at first. It was very different, obviously. Uh, I will say that I think uh, Love You Too, uh, without uh, or just the uh, single guitar, Love You Too sounds better than the actual version with the sitars and all that stuff. I, because I'm not a big fan of the sitar and all that kind of stuff. So just George and his one acoustic guitar doing Love You Too, I actually think sounds better. But you know, George was not in that place. He he really was into the whole uh, that whole style, as we would go on to hear in Sergeant Pepper's. So, but just some really cool stuff on this. Um, you know, and you know, I just Revolver is probably my second favorite uh, Beatles album. Sergeant Pepper's is by far my favorite. But really excited to have this. I'm gonna listen to it a lot more probably in the coming week or two. Um, the book is really awesome as well. Uh, you know, I would encourage everybody uh, when you can get this box set. Uh, you know, like I said, you, you may not be as lucky as me and get it for the price that I did, but I will say this: you know, don't settle. You know, look around. Uh, you know, maybe wait for Black Friday. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people that will have deals, um, and you know keep looking at Amazon sometimes Amazon uh, will have discounts that's how I got the let it be box set it you know went on sale right before Christmas and I got it for a steal there but anyway um, guys if you would like and subscribe if not that's fine too if you like what you saw uh, you know let me know leave me a comment uh, and uh, you know let me know what you th what you think of the box set as well Appreciate what you guys are uh, doing out there and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks.